Oh, g'day there, guys. <laughs> it's uh, it's Munga Trillionaire here, and it's time for your favourite time of day, my favourite time of day, the Daily Diary. And uh, we're on the Camino de Santiago. <laughs> you! <laughs> Yeah. It's been a lovely day. Nothing but wind, rain, fog. It's not particularly warm. Especially when it's when you're wet and it's windy. <laughs> but the uh the scenery, goodness me. Well, I've stopped just here because this is the less least amount of wind we've had just about all day. It's not really raining right now. Yeah, it's quite picturesque. Yeah, it is, even though we can't see much over the hill and far away. But the landscape so far has been remarkable. Like, hiking up over the Pyrenees was pretty neat. Looking back over, like, saint jean Ferdinand de port where we came from. And, uh, you know, it's just a mountain, really. Rocks and that. <laughs> Some goats, or sheep, black-headed sheep wandering around. Fair few people. I guess uh, we're kind of pretty lucky, really. Last night when we turned up at Saint Jean Pierre de Port, there was there wasn't many beds left in town. <laughs> That's where we got the last two. <laughs> yeah, I think we got the last. Actually, got the last two beds in. Uh, in town, we wandered around and uh, didn't find any. Went back to the pilgrim uh, office, and they gave us a hot tip to go to this place around the corner. So we did, and uh, we got the last two beds. Been eating nothing but pilgrim meals so far, which consist of baguettes. And <laughs> when you go to when you go to a restaurant, you get. Uh, get a pretty good three course meal and a wine. Last night we had heaps of stuff. Soup. Soup, which is bloody chicken awesome. Fries. <laughs> chicken and fries. This crepe giver. And real cider. The French know how to make crepes. <laughs> <than that. laughs> and fries. <laughs> oh. So, it's been good fun so far. Like, it's been bloody tough hike up. Down. We went from what 170, I think, is what St. John's at. Yeah. To 1429. Is that the highest point? The highest point. So that's what we've done. Now, now we're going down, <laughs> and it's just been just as bloody difficult. Probably tough. More so. Yeah, tough on the legs. The legs are very fatigued from going up, and now coming down. <laughs> Fatagui. <laughs> Huh? What's that? Fatagui? Yeah. Fatigue. Oh, right. <laughs> gotcha. I was going to say something like, what's that acid your body produces when you stop doing physical activity? That's the one. That's definitely pumping through my legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very jelly like this one. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're happy. Oh yeah, big time. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I think we, even though it's been very strenuous, I'm not sure if I'm hey, so well, stoked to be here, so I'm not too worried about it. So or a challenge. Hmm, or if living at altitude for the past year and a half has actually made a difference in my physical health. Not sure, not too worried to really know. <laughs> but I'm gonna wrap this up. We're gonna keep walking. Pretty sure the next town's only 3k away. Only. So <laughs> we'll be there in an hour or so. So peace, love, and respect, bar. It's a good show. I've got the Apo, Apple. And Buen I had an amazing crate. <laughs> <laughs> Buen Camino. Buen Camino.